Nanti tu ya baca orang pamsuro pe open ho, open ho, awa ira rama neva nawa, baca ambut zikar. Nekul aku mama maintenance, nanti tu loko ya baca orang baca itu. I used to be that woman who used to run to the courts and file for maintenance, the stress, the time wasting, the embarrassment after being told you receive only twenty dollars per month. Imagine twenty dollars. How do you even split it so that it can be enough? School fees, rents, food, etc. Remember, when you divorce, most baby daddies do not care about how you live after that. They don't care about what you eat and etc. Sometimes, when you need something from the baby daddy, you'll be referred to the current wife, and we all know women hardly get along. You start being told they are bitter. Let's go stop calling my husband. Don't use your child as a way of getting my husband's attention in ETC. The frustration becomes too much, especially when you're just a married woman who only depended on her husband. It was a it wasn't easy until I told myself, why am I embarrassing myself like this? Why am I so desperate? Why am I forcing things? I set, my, I set myself down and told myself, a real father doesn't have to wait to be dragged to maintenance court. A real father doesn't need to be told what his children want. A real father doesn't have to be forced to release funds for his children. I thought of time I'd rent myself going to courts and fight after courts. Every month, if the man fails to deposit the money, the ass of going to the police, the back and forth cries. It was draining. I got tired and asked myself, why am I chasing these people to be responsible? I have two hands, two legs, five brains, still fit to be working and taking care of myself and my kids. I also asked myself if I was still married to these baby daddies and the die whilst we were still married, who was going to be responsible? That alone gave me strength to stand up. I told myself from now onwards I'm a widow whose husband passed away and now has to face responsibilities on her own. I got strength, forget all about the maintenance, stopped going to court and police, stopped calling, stopped defies and started focusing on what I can do to survive. Surviving wasn't easy but eventually life became better without bothering anyone. I was now the provider took my kids to the best schools that even the fathers cannot afford. And one thing about God, he will never give you two kids, especially when you're a single mother. He will bless those kids with a brilliant mind and they will have special gifts and also extraordinary intelligence that yourself will be shown. Years later of not bothering anyone or calling, you see the man now wants to check on his children. Don't remind him. Oh, you left us with nothing. You are not going to lay hands or see them. No, 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 no. My dear, invite him and allow him to see that it was not him who made you, but it is God who made people. Show him extra glow that came after he left. Show him how the children are doing so well and how they are glowing without his maintenance. You can do it without anybody. You can do even better after all the pain and suffering. Just stop thinking you need to force someone to be responsible. You can be more than responsible. Find your strength, find your gift. Work on it and it will produce fruits of your labor. You, you one day laugh at the times you wasted chasing someone. You can just choose to ignore and become what they thought. You can never be without them. Let these kids be your strength to discover the great person here without depending on anyone. Strong woman.